Okay, continuing on, guys. I'm still. I thought I had. I was talking to somebody on my. Um, I was talking to somebody, one of the one of my uh, subbies, and I said, "Okay, I think I got it figured out of why my phone just turns off." I thought it's because you know I have too much. I don't have enough memory because I have too much stuff on my phone, so I just need to make sure I keep things cleared off. Well, I cleared off everything off my phone. I don't have that much on here. And it still just turns off. I even, um, like, you know how you have a screensaver on your phone? I even have that set to the, the longest it will go so it doesn't just turn off. I don't know. I'm going to get with my husband because he is good at figuring that kind of stuff out. So I'll talk to him about it. He's good at, like I said, figuring that kind of stuff out. I am not. Okay, let me come out just a little bit more because we're working on the body too. And then when we go back to the face, you guys, I will, um, when we go back to the face, I will um, come back in. <laughs> I'm doing some shading here, but I'm doing the heaviest shading on this side. I'll do a little underneath. Underneath here. Okay, all right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take my one that's kind of plain, um, where I don't have anything pretty much on it, just a um, clean sponge, and um, just go over it and then just blend out. So kind of just go over your line and then blend out from there. Because once you go over the go over the color, it puts a little color on the brush and then you can put that and help that helps you to blend it out. See if I like that. I think so. And then I'm just going to shade a little bit more into here. And as things go along, I'm probably going to throw like in the center. Um, like whatever the color of this body is, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, probably turquoise, like always, I'll probably take some of that color and bounce that on, like maybe in the middle here and different places on the skin. So I'll start adding some color here and there that like bouncing out, like whatever the color is in the hair, I'll bounce some of that off onto the chest a little bit. So and if that doesn't make sense, it will. I think that looks really pretty. And then let's just add a little bit more shading into here, a little deeper 
quite empty there. There we go. Okay. There we go. That looks good. Okay, so now let's come back up to the face and I bring this over here like that so you can see plenty of the face up close. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, let me just make sure I've blended this enough here on the hairline. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to add some cheek color. So we're going to use for the cheeks for this one, we're going to use this color right here. Either that or we're going to use this one, which is almost the same color. We're going to try, I'm going to use this one, this color here. It's basically almost the same color. This is the chilled palette. And the reason I'm going to use this one is it looks like it's a little bit not as deep, but it's really pretty. Okay, so let's just take a little bit of cheek color right up in the corner and bring it out. Okay. And I, I wipe it off on the side here on a side piece of paper before I... Um, go right to the cheek. Just wipe a little bit off just so you don't get too much. I mean, if you do, you can always erase it, but then you got to put the skin color back on too. So in my opinion, it's just better to just dab a little excess off on a piece of paper before you go right to the paper, just so you don't have too much loaded up on your little sponge applicator. Oh, love it. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I just want to put a little bit of this on the tip of her nose. Just a little bit. And you know that purple that we were talking about, that we were shading with? Um, just a tiny bit of that I want to um, shade right here on the side of the nose. Just a little bit. Just a little, not even very much. Just a tad. <laughs> I just put a tiny bit of red on her nose. I may keep that, I may not. It just depends. It's barely, you can barely see it anyway. Okay, so we just, we did her cheeks. Um, let's throw in um, some color on her eyes. And I'm really excited about doing her lips because there's these things right here and they're called velvet pastels and I learned this new technique from Jane and we're going to use it on her lips so I'm excited about that because I haven't done this yet so excited about that okay I haven't tried the technique it just looked really cool when I seen her do it um but let's go to the eyes next and we can come in a little bit closer for the face Okay, so I want to line her eyes with my pen here. Just go over her eyes just to um, define her eyes. Sorry if I'm getting quiet again, you guys. All of that kind of stuff like this takes a little bit of focus. I don't want to do too, too much right now because I may have to do it again once we um, put the eye color in and the eyeshadows in. But Okay. So we'll probably end up doing that again here in a, in a minute. Okay, so then I like to use, I think for eyes, it is so pretty to use watercolor. 
because the watercolor, um, it look, it keeps, you know, eyes look wet, right? And it keeps that wet look of the eye, in my opinion. Um, my favorite eye color is green. I love green eyes. And I think I'm going to do green eyes on her. They really, really pop. I love it. Um, I'm looking for the other shade of green. I usually keep all my... Oh, I hope I kept that out. Did I? I think so. Is this the green I want to use? I think so. Yeah, I think that's the one. Hopefully. Anyway. So, I'm going to use this green right here. It's called Jiminy Cricket. I love it. It's a pretty, pretty green. And so I'm going to use that. And this is in the Jane Davenport um, watercolor palette. It looks like that. And here's the palette. I got to make sure I explain what I'm using and stuff because I act like everybody knows who Jane Davenport is and what her palette looks like. And I'm sure there's some people like, um, I don't even know who that is. Her name is Jane Davenport, and that's the pro a lot of the products I use. Um, her products are at Michael's. <clears throat> her newest line make, is, was made to look like makeup, like I said. It's just absolutely fabulous. I love it. I mean, doesn't this look like an eyeshadow palette? Awesome. Doesn't this look like a lip gloss or a nail polish? Just fabulous. I gotta take some of this green down just a little bit in her eyes. <gasps> a little intense. Just using the corner of the paper towel just to rein that color in just a little bit. Okay. Oh, no, I don't have enough color. You guys know it's always a fine line. Okay. With any of this stuff. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I didn't get it enough. Now I got it too much. Drive myself nuts. Okay, let's see how that is. All right. And we're going to use the blow dryer and we're going to um, dry that. So just a second while I turn on the blow dryer. So we're going to put, let me put the watercolor to the side here for a second. Okay. And then I, what I like to do is I like to, sh um, in the corners of the eye, I like to use this pencil. I like to use a colored pencil. Kind of get as close as I can. And I'm using uh, Parrot Green Prismacolor. And I like to get right up in the corner and then blend out. Okay, so I'm gonna get right up in the corners. And then we'll blend this out. Okay, let me get my blender pencil. See how this works out here. I um I don't do um I haven't done it very I haven't done very many girls where the eyes are looking like behind her, so the eyeball isn't straight head. She's it's looking to like the left. So 
that's a little bit different for me, so just bear with me. And I'm just what I'm doing is right in the center. I want to keep that that lighter green color, so just taking back a little bit of that um, green. And then I'm going to take um, chartreuse and just blend that out in the middle here a little bit just to keep that lightness right in the center of the eye. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks good. And then I'm going to take this green again and just kind of just redefine right in the corners just to give it a little bit more drama. Drama. Yeah, loving that. Okay, so now let's go back in with um, with my ink pen here, and I'm going to define the eyes. Um, this is a really, really small one. A really wait, is this the thin one? No, it's not. It's a thick one. I don't want that one. I want this one, which I'm using like a 0 0.1. Just really helps give me control. So let me make sure I'm still in frame. Okay. So, let me redefine the eye again. And I'm redefining the eyeball and just deepening that up. Deepening up the eyeball here again. And if you just kind of redefine the eyeball, it'll keep... It will... Um, really add drama to the eyes. Redefining the eyeliner down here at the bottom. That's what I think of it as, is eyeliner. Okay, that looks good. And then um, I'm just going to go right over, back over. Oh, not yet. I'm going to go back over the eyelashes, but let's put some eyeshadow on her. Okay, so there we are with the eyes so far. Um, eyeshadow. What did I decide for eyeshadow? Okay, I'm going to use, um, how do I want to do it? I'm going to use this purple here, the purple that we shade it with. I'm going to put more of that on the outside. Just kind of make it deeper. Okay, and then I'm going to, on the other side, I'm going to use this color here. Um, it's in the chilled one, this one. I'm going to use this purpley blue right there. On the inside. Let me make sure that I'm getting... There we go. It was hitting it with some other color. I don't even know. Okay, so putting this purpley blue in here. Okay. touching that up a little bit just to blend it a little bit. I think that looks good. Let me go back to the purple. Just to define that purple a little bit more. That looks good. Oh, pretty. Okay. So now let's go back with our uh, pin here, the finer one. Is this the finer one? Or is that the test? No, it's not. Okay. I'm going to put this pin away because I'm not even going to use that. I'm only using the finer one. So let's put that away so I'm not messing with that. 
Okay. And I'm going to define the eyelashes right over the eyeshadow because it takes it away a little bit when you put the eyeshadow in. Just kind of go back over the eyelashes again. Okay, that looks good. Okay, and then now let's put in some catch lights. And I like to use just white acrylic paint and a liner brush. Okay. So I'll just use this on the back of my hand. All right, so let's throw in some catch lights in the eyes. We'll throw a catch light right here, okay? And then a little dot right there. We'll throw in a catch light right here. And a little dot of light right there. Pretty. And then, with the white and my liner brush still, um, I'm going to add a few, I love to add like, look, make it look like there's like glitter on the eyes. So I just put these little white, little sprinkles. With my liner brush. And then um, on her, I decided I, I'm going to put these little white dots on her eye, right below her eye and on her cheeks. I think that looks really pretty. And we'll do it right here. Starting right about on the eyeliner. And then put these little white dots. I just think it looks pretty. Let's put a little white dot on her nose. I'm going to put a little white right here in the corners. Okay. Um, all right, and then let's, let me look at my camera, make sure I'm, I'm still filming. Thank goodness I am. Let's do the lips. Where we at on time? Okay, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the lips. Um, hopefully, we are good on time. Um, if not, I'll, I'll, I'll you know, if, if the camera turns off, just go to part three or part four, wherever the hell we're at. Um, <laughs> don't you guys love? I don't even know where I'm at with my own camera. Um, do I want to do these two or these two? I think I want to try these two. Okay. This is the thing I saw Jane do. And she did a lighter color. And I don't usually do lips like this. So this is going to be a serious experiment. Ooh. You know what? I don't like that. Alright. You know what, you guys? I am going to... Okay, these lips are really, really small. Let me erase this at the bottom here. Hopefully I can erase all this. Yeah, I can. I'll put the skin tone color back on here in just a second. All right, the reason I'm not liking this right now, I think I'll like this, but if I had like a big face I was working on, there's not enough room for these to spread out. So that's why I just got rid of that. Okay, so let me put the skin tone color back on. Looking for my the white brush for skin tone color. OK, 
Okay, so let me go back to my skin tone color. Put that back in. Okay. So we are all good with that, right? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so let's go in with lip color. And I usually use, especially if it's a small area like that, a pencil. So what pencil do I want to use? Um, Or do I just want to use um, a pastel? I'm trying to think what I want to use for the for the lip color because I didn't plan on doing it like this. All right, let me see. I'm working on the fly right now. <coughs> um, so I'm just looking at the lip color that I want to use. Sorry for the silence, guys. I'm kind of caught off guard because I was going to do one thing and that didn't really work out. So I didn't plan for something else. Um, all right, let's try this. That's what I have out without having to go into my pencils and really start looking. What color is this? Tuscan red. No, that's not going to look good. Um... I'm almost feeling like I should go with a really, really neutral lip color. Let me see what I have here for my on my pastels before I get too crazy and intense. Okay, I see a color that I think is going to work. Thought, you know what? I should just do something really, really neutral, maybe, on the lips here. Yeah, I'm going to do this pink color, just really, really neutral. And then I'm going to go in with some pencil for liner, which is what I normally do. But I usually just kind of choose my colors before I come on camera, which I didn't do. So you know, you know what I'm going to do? We're going to go ahead and stop the video here. I will work out what liner I'm going to use on these lips, and then um, we'll continue that. But on the next video, um, um, I'll show you what color I decided to line her lips with, and then we'll do some highlighting on her lips. But I need to work that out. Um, and then the next part of the video, it'll be the hair, and then the next part will be the body, okay? And like I said, after I do the hair and I do the body, I'll start throwing some little bit of color, like bouncing off on the skin and stuff, so... Okay, you guys, that is it for this one. I hope you guys liked it. Let me see. Make sure. There we go. I hope you guys liked it. Let me kind of show the full body. There we go. So this is what we worked on so far. Okay. All right. And I don't know if you guys are in part two yet or not. And hopefully you're not. <laughs> but you might be. I got to get this camera figured out. All right, you guys, I will see you guys in the next one and we'll, we'll do the hair on the next video. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.